those in their fifties or sixties must be cautious with because of their effect on your blood sugar. Fruits are good for you. They are easily digestible and they are immune boosters. But those ones that are high in glycemic index, the older adult, those in their fifties and sixties, or the pre-diabetics, should avoid them or cautiously take them, pairing them with other food that naturally lowers sugar. You don't say you are not diabetic. If you are already in your 50s or 60s, you need to treat yourself as though you are diabetic because your body's ability to manage sugar reduces by the day. And as you get older, your body may not be able to handle some of these foods again that you were enjoying before. Number one, watermelon. Watermelon is a great food, good for prostate health. It's very, very, you know, it's a very good drink if you are maybe sweating or under the sun, you want to avoid sunstroke, it's great, I mean, for your energy, but don't take it if you are, because it's, it will spike your sugar. It will spike your sugar. Another food is bananas. Bananas, not on ripe plantain, but the ripe bananas are quite high in glycemic index. You need, you need to be very cautious with them. If you must take it, you have to take very little and make sure that you pair it with another food that is able to lower your blood sugar naturally. The next are mangoes. Mangoes are very good and rich in vitamin A, good for your eyes. But please, if you are an older adult within this age range, you must be very, very careful with mangoes because of their high glycemic index. Don't play with mangoes. They will definitely spike your sugar. There are several other foods. Then the next is papaya. Yes, purple. You can eat the seeds of purple. Yeah, that's the good news. You can boil the leaves of purple and drink. But you see the, those fleshy fruits of purple, it's very sweet, are very, very high in glycemic index. Don't take them. Don't play with them. If at all you must consume any of these ones, ensure to pair them up with something like cloves or cinnamon or follow it up with i mean guava leaf tea another food is guava fruit it's also high i'm talking of the fruit but the good news is the i mean the i mean the leaves you can take the leaves and boil and drink it lowers blood sugar naturally you don't have to worry about it and another one is tamarind tamarind is a very healthy fruit for your liver. It's a very healthy food, even for weight loss. For digestion, it renews to you, makes you look younger. But honestly, the ugly side is that it spikes your sugar. But you can see, pair it with cloves. Add some cloves if you want to take it. Or add some cinnamon, sprinkle some cinnamon on it. Or else, it's going to spike your sugar. Then the next very good fruit is golden melon. Yes, golden melon is another very healthy fruit easily digestible but is high in sugar when you consume it is most likely to i mean spike your blood sugar and so you don't have to say you are not diabetic until you are confirmed diabetic once you are within this age range just understand it that your body is not longer able to manage sugar as it used to when you were younger then the next is cabbage another very healthy food you must be cautious with cabbage. There are so many, I mean, posts and uh, videos of his health benefits. I'm also a beneficiary of his health benefits. But you need to be cautious. Very high in sugar. You need to be very, very cautious with cabbage. You can take it very little because of this low calorie. But if you take large quantity of it, those of you who like to make salads with your cabbage and all the adding your salad cream, you need to stop all of that because it's going to spike your sugar. Or the next food is, that is also slightly high, but you can see take it little, I mean, little amount of it, is carrot. Carrot is also mildly high in sugar, but because of this low calorie, you can take it. And most times, when I do, I take something like fat, cashew nut, I follow it up with a fat, or something that lowers sugar naturally to prevent it from uh, spiking my blood sugar. And so... You don't have to worry. Most the good thing about this fruit is that majority of them you can equally boil the leaves and drink. You can boil the papaya leaf and drink. Most of them are like that. 
So you don't need to. The cashew nut is another food. Cashews. Very high in sugar. Very high glycemic index. But the good thing also is you can equally boil the leaves and drink. You don't need to avoid all of them. There are healthier ones that you can take moderately. That are safe. Don't say you are avoiding all the food. Apple, moderately. Though it's high, but there are ones that have some kind of special fiber that you can take very little especially after you work out there are several of them one orange is not bad for you as an older adult to get your vitamin c and antioxidants to help you fight disease don't forget to subscribe for more if you like this message moderation remains our goal thank you for watching